Meanwhile, in the new releases, what do we got? got? What do we got? Uh, what's this God's Will Fall game? I feel like I should know what that is. Uh, I think it's a game about gods falling down. Sounds That's... blasphemous. I don't want to have anything to do with is it. Is it like Jenga, but you play with gods? Is that it's... like humans fall flat? No. I don't know. I don't I think look so. it up on Google and they'll why don't tell you, me. Why don't you Google it? So oh, it. it's got a five out of 10 on Steam. So oh, I'm sure it's to not Google, that great. Even though I know Steam doesn't go that way. Mixed reviews. Mixed reviews. Okay. I'm, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I know I've heard of it. And it seems like something that had a lot of uh, push behind it for a while. Push. The Deep Silver game, I believe. Oh, I still can't tell what kind of game it is. Are I can't it... either. That's the problem with it. Like, I, I also Googled it and it doesn't tell me anything about it without having to go read an article. It looks like hack and slash, but I can't tell for sure. But mixed reviews makes me not want to click away from it very quickly. It is a budget release at $25. It is. But it could be more budget, I feel, based on those mixed reviews. Sorry. What else we got? Uh, the new Ease game, Ease 9, Monstrum Knox. Do you, are, do you guys play the Ease game? Oh, Wise, you mean. You're mispronouncing it. It's Wise. <laughs> wise. I know it's hard to pronounce. No, Wise <laughs> is a potato chip. Right. Ease. On down the road. My, my Ohio accent calls it ease. No, it's wise X is how you say it. Monstrum Knox. It's good. Perfect. I'm not down I, with that. I bet that game's pretty good. I, I'm going to guess that even if it has mixed reviews, if you were to Google that and find it has mixed reviews, I bet that's a pretty good standard JRPG from that title alone. I like those games. Right. When they don't even, when they just make up the words in the title... They don't, it doesn't matter. Right. They know that they have a quality product underneath. They just don't, they don't even have to waste time on the title. Just put, throw some letters together and whatever. That's a title. I'll check that out. $60 for an ease game seems a little bit much, but ease. I don't know. That seems a little bit much. And does that look like, did they update the graphics or something? Monster. Like I'm picturing, I'm picturing ease being a, this is the most we've ever spoken about an ease game. Yeah, can, it, let's stop saying ease. Let's never say ease again, actually. 600 and... Okay, mm, they updated the graphics. I'm saying this with ease. I'd rather say karaoke than say it, ease. It looks, like, it looks like more of a PS, early PS3 level of graphics now for ease. Yes, which is the, ease. A big jump. A big jump. What else Looking we got? Let's jump that. away from this. Uh, Destruction All-Stars came out that's free with playstation plus now that's a ps5 only game oh you guys don't have playstation 5s no nope. most people don't mm. i i want to at least look into destruction all stars because i don't know i don't think it's my jam but it's free on playstation plus so, so I'll check give it, it a out shot. and let us know i will i will I control also not... came out for playstation 5 i, I don't have a place <laughs> Oh, does that mean that the Xbox One Series X version is available? I've been waiting it for is. that. Yeah, it's, it, that is, I'm pretty sure the Ultimate Edition, because it's plastered up on the but finally, dashboard. I turned but, it off. But the, the old school edition is still on Game Right. I got to say, like, it's been pretty... I asked for a review code for that like a long time ago, the Control Ultimate Edition, because I figured mm -hmm. I'm getting a Series X, I should have something to play on it. So I was like really proactive and I got it like like months and months ago. And it still shows up in when you filter through your games, it shows up as a Series X game, even though they never released the update. I think the update must have just come out, right? Like this week? Yeah, or this week. This yes. week. So it's like... I bet you a lot of people played through that thinking that they had the Series X version because it was identified as such right in your library. I mean, to be honest, I don't think you a would lot of the games you wouldn't notice. You, you think so? It's supposed to have ray tracing and, you know, he's good. Ooh, you could look in a mirror. I think the, the big difference so far to Ooh. me when I, when I look at this is still the loading time. Okay. Right? Like, that's, that's the big difference I still see. None of these games have a wow factor of like, oh, I've never seen something that looks this good before. Right. Um, it all just, I don't know. It looks marginally better with better load times so right. far. 
Um, it's interesting because I've been playing more of uh, Immortals. And you can tell that they, they plan those loading screens around actually having loading because you're supposed to fly around and collect jewels during the loading screens. Okay. I've been able to collect like two jewels the entire time because it just blows right through the loading screen. So the little mini game that they've added in there is right. totally useless. It's a good problem to have. It is. I like that problem. I like, yeah, I like the trend. I uh I downloaded uh just to check out um Madden because I redeemed so many of those free packs on Twitch and they were having the the weekend thing and I wanted to see what it looked like on the console. I'm Probably like, good, okay. I'm guessing. Yeah, it, it it the well the problem one of the big issues I always had with Madden was it also has really long load. Nice to not have those and to open up all my packs. Da -da 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 -da. Did that come out for PC or no? Probably. I don't know. What do I look like? I thought they were oh, only FIFA, maybe. Yeah. I know that last year Madden was put on EA Access like the day after the Super Bowl. Right. So I'm waiting it out through the weekend before. I mean, I wouldn't buy it anyway, but I... next weekend is probably when it'll be free. Have you already blown through your 10 hours of it? I probably went through like five of it. It's $20 at Best Buy this week. I know, but again, I already have the EA access. Why would I spend? They're they're sponsoring our social media. Yeah, but who cares? Me. <laughs> We're giving away a sixty dollars gift card. Check out our pinned uh, tweet <laughs> at Video Game Deals. Okay, I'll make sure. Ooh. You know what? I take it back. I think I'm going to spend the twenty dollars <laughs> right. and buy it at Best Buy. And today. FIFA, get FIFA. It's also forty dollars off. I'm also going to get FIFA. Which I think is a you game about poodles. You sound very sincere. Poodles. I'd rather you just tell me to go fuck myself. That you sounded very sincere before <laughs> when you were making fun of me. All right. Meanwhile, at Best Buy. Right. What about, uh, I looked up Destruction All-Stars, by the way. At Metacritic, it has a 71. That sounds wondering. right. It's also, yeah. It's also right. three. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's what you'd expect, probably. All right. Any other new up, releases? Did you look up uh, for the Switch? Did you look up Save Farty? Save Farty. I will be looking that up. It's priced at six dollars and ninety nine cents, aka sixty nine. I, I heard that game is a gas. Save Farty represents a real low point in worldwide. This is the what? This is the description of the game. Save okay, Farty good. represents a real low point in worldwide trivia games. Self improvement and the advancement of knowledge have given away to idiocy and unbridled masochism this is perhaps the sickest game that can be enjoyed alone or with friends since russian roulette Ooh, that's mm -hmm. not that sounds bad russian roulette jokes like it looks like a trivia game but they're trying to be like edgy like cards against humanity it looks dumb i'm i don't know even know why i'm looking at this it's seven dollars by the way <laughs> what else uh all Yakuza Remastered, the three, four, five came out for Xbox. Uh, those are all on Game Pass, I believe, as well. They seem to be on Game Pass. Everything Yakuza. Yeah, it's good for them. Yeah, of course. Yeah, why not? I, I well, I mean, it gives them that that Japanese franchise too, right? That they have been searching for for so long. Now, granted, it's everywhere, but if they are. They are the home of Yakuza. If they want to claim that sure. or something, they can claim it. Nerd cred. Great. Got to have that. I, I don't really see too much else on this new release list. We're still kind of struggling to get going here in 2021. Right. Well, it's kind of lame. Like right. we're, I don't know what big releases I'm expecting in February, but the nice that there was something. You can play what about the medium? Super Mario 3D Land again. We I never talked about the medium. Did I we? did start. Oh, I didn't. start. I started the medium. How is that? I played the first two chapters. Okay. I mean, it's it's definitely it got some unique. It's definitely unique. I don't know if it's really for me per se. Is it I scary? Like, I yes. Uh, yes, I mean, what is, I, don't, I don't know. I okay. So you're the you're a woman <laughs> who is the medium, and you can sort of exist in two parallel universes at right. the same time. Yeah, and there's like this split screen thing going on, and you're controlling 
both views in both universes at the same time in the split screen and you're using those abilities to solve puzzles so you could solve the mystery of what's going on basically you, you use the both sticks of, like one stick controls the no uh, no the same stick you're basically okay. walking the same place in the same path I see. just oh, in the okay two parallel that universes. sounds better than the dual stick thing that i was imagining yeah no, well. no 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 it's one stick so it's like in one universe it's like a, a brick wall, but in the mirror universe, that brick wall has a door. But the key is in the universe I played where this there's game a brick before. wall. What game have I I've seen this before, this mechanic? It, yeah, I feel like there's been mechanics. With the, the, it's not like it's it's kind of it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I like the concept. I just don't know if it's something I want to keep going with. Also, sometimes she, when, she, when the girl walks, he has like Muppet arms and okay. it kind of throws me off, you know, like Kermit the Frog. And yes. Just... And I'm like, I don't know if this is what I want to see. It's kind, <laughs> of, what I, it's kind of what I want to see. <laughs> I also want her to like enter the room and anytime she talks to him that she just says, I am the medium. Yeah, she <laughs> does? I, no. 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 That would be good though. Right. Then why are you wearing a large? No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Uh huh. Uh, it, I'll check it out. Yep, well. it's it's free. i it, been... it's it's definitely worth checking out because you have the Xbox and you have the thing, the Game Pass. You download it, you check it out. Right. Yeah. Yep. I think I'm more interested in going back to Resident Evil Seven and finally. Finish. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. 